I was living on the sixth floor of a loft building on 6th Street in San Pedro in Skid Row. It's sort of ground zero. Skid Row is basically a 50 block area of downtown Los Angeles between 2nd and 7th Streets and Main and Central Streets with 9,000 people in varied states of homelessness. Psych patients, crack addicts, heroin addicts, soccer moms and gangsters, artists, Agent Orange vets, the missions, the welfare hotels, the real estate investors, the parolees, the dealers, the sex offenders, and the issues. Housing, racism, employment, addiction, mental health. There's a lot going on in 50 square blocks. I wrote a series of cover stories for the LA Weekly. LAPD Police Chief Bratton told me it was the worst social disaster in America. The U.S. Department of Housing and Urban Development's definition of homelessness includes a person who has no place to go, no resources to obtain housing, and is either being evicted within a week, discharged within a week from an institution such as a hospital, or is fleeing domestic violence. The average age of a homeless person living in the U.S. is nine years old. 3.5 million people. That's 1.35 million children. In LA County, 80,000 homeless each night. Los Angeles is the first third world city in the United States. Some people are here to take advantage of the centralized services. The huge homeless mega shelter missions who provide meals, emergency shelter, showers, haircuts and shaves, mail delivery, legal assistance, 12 step recovery programs, medical, dental, housing placement assistance, and social service liaison. Skid Row is home to other populations as well an undercover criminal sect hiding out, and a predatory population selling drugs and preying upon the legitimate residents. I'd been in the streets and the missions, and I knew people's names and their faces. I was watching the madness play itself out in the streets from my window. I started shooting some video from a little handy cam. That was the view from up here. I hit the streets and discovered that what was a frightening sight from a moving car was actually a community of people. So what is it that makes Los Angeles Skid Row unique? The scope of it and the proximity to the financial district? The five-star hotels and the street sleepers butted right up against each other? The fact that it's predominantly black? How could all of this be happening in one of the richest economies in the country? The measure of any society is how it treats its weakest element, the widows, the orphans, and the strangers in the land. How we do anything is how we do everything. We're not doing so well on Skid Row. 